A um, couple of things uh, before we conclude. I'm going to remind you of the Amnesty International collection. Um, if you can make a contribution, that would be terrific. Um, and it may be that someone would like to uh, um, pr put forward a motion uh, that we can pass on to um, the Prime Minister. Uh, this is not a Dorothy Dixer, um, so if someone can succinctly, Lizzie O'Shea, per perfect person. Um, yes, you can. Can you, can you hear me? Yep. Um, I was going to suggest that that's what, what I had my hand up for, and I, I'm here as the female representative of the current set of speakers, finally, Rob picked a woman. Um, no, that's all. Uh, but what I was going to say was, um, I would have, I would like to call, perhaps it can be a, a, me, a motion of the meeting, or I'm going to call on the lawyers to put them on the spot, to see whether they would publicly um, condemn any call for Julian Assange's extradition back to the US, because I think there's no guarantee of him having a fair trial if that occurs. And I would also call, because I think it is an issue of freedom of the press, to say that any criminalisation of WikiLeaks is a direct attack on the Fourth Estate and uh, an undermining of the principles of a free press. And those are the two things. I mean, I you might not agree with my wording, and forgive me, Your Honour, but I'm doing my best under the circumstances. Um, but those are the two principles that I think are important that have come out of the meeting, and I would suggest that as a motion. Uh, we'll take it um, in, um, in the spirit in which it's said, and it'll be drafted... Um, and settled by Julian later on. Um, but uh, um, those in favour of that motion? Thank you. The eyes have it. Um, no uh, kidding. Rob, before you go on, can I just mention one thing that ought to make everyone enthusiastic and keep, their, uh, keep, keep them going? Um, when Lizzie and Jeff Sparrow uh, prepared that open letter that was published on the drum on the ABC website, Within hours of it going up, there were more than three and a half thousand comments, overwhelmingly in favour. That there's four and a half thousand now, but it only took hours to get three and a half thousand. It's an really astonishing gone, yeah. response. I think the public of Australia is with us on this, mm. and I think we all ought to harness that and make sure that the government understands that they are overwhelmingly in the minority. We disapprove of what they're doing. Um, Two final things. On Friday, um, there is an International Human Rights Day, which will include a Defend WikiLeaks Day, 4.30 outside of the State Library. All of those activists who are aware of the, um, the usual location, please be there. Um, it will be an opportunity, really, for us to express our disquiet as to what's happening. Um, and uh, those people who have put their names on the um, registration, uh, the registration... Um, uh, information will not be distributed beyond uh, the Law Institute uh, uh, <laughs> and although your photographs may be taken down for face recognition purposes later on, um, if you're interested please uh, nominate and thank you everyone for coming. <laughs>